Hello everyone and welcome back to the episode of our Ark Survival Evolved Let's Play. And in this episode, I want to get the Cave of the Shadows done. Although, you may notice I'm not on the right map. And that's because, when I was over here making up some more shotgun ammo and getting, like, the good crossbow I could find, getting the scuba gear, I noticed, in here, we still have some grenades from when we did the Cave of the Strong. Now, there's a lot of underwater, just, parts in the uh, the cave of the shadows and if you can throw grenades off the back of a dinosaur this might be like kind of fun to deal with like the um to oops to deal with the uh, like snide area and the baryonyxes that are in the cave generally so i really just want to see can you first can you throw grenades off the back of a dino at all and two can you throw them underwater Oh, I can pull it out. That's a good sign. Uh, I'm not going to throw a grenade in here, though. I'll go see you when I'm down by the river. Oh, I didn't turn that trough off. Okay, I'll go see you down by the river. And we'll check it out. Okay, well. Let's get these out. So, it would appear... Oh, yep, I can throw them off the back. That's good. Okay, so can I throw... Oh, I almost... I forgot these are cluster grenades. Can I throw them underwater? Oh man, I can't. No, that would have been so fun. You know, I'm still gonna bring some. Cause it might be kind of helpful to deal with like crabs. But man, I was really hoping, cause like you can encounter baryonyxes. The Snydaria is not that bad because you can just shoot them with the crossbow. Like before they get to you. But the baryonyxes are annoying cause they dismount you and they're fast. So, oh, Parasaur Egg. Two Parasaur Eggs. Um, but yeah, they're, they're annoying because they dismount you and um, they're fast. So I was hoping the grenades would help with that, but it's, it's it's unfortunate. The crossbow I did find is pretty good though, so that should help at least. Okay, I think I have everything dangerous in the immediate area, like cleared out. For at least when we swim down there. I know there's like anglerfish and stuff. Oh, there's a baryonyx over there. That should be fine. I just don't trust it. Ow, oh, why did I move? I still see it though. Come on. No, you're not allowed. I was gonna say, if that was like a high level one, and I just got rid of it without even checking its level, I was gonna be sad. Ah, uh, okay. Is this, this initial plunge is always one of the most like annoying parts because you're always just hoping you cleared everything out. I'm pretty sure I did though, so we should be fine. So, uh, I'm, I am probably gonna need to put the scuba tank on, cause eh, it's a little deep, but potentially I could make it. I have made it down here before without having to get air. Oh, there we go, load in the cave. Oh, I probably should have put the bed up there, but eh, it's a little late now. I don't really want to go back. Come on, I don't want to use the scuba tank. There we go, I'm getting air. Alright, so we're inside the cave. Um, yeah, I could put the bed up here, but I think I'm just going to put it down here if I can. I actually don't know if it'll let me build in here, because this is technically the cave. Hey, there's, oh wait, no, there's an electric forest. I was going to say there's no nothing like dangerous in this little tide pool, because there usually is. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the snake too, though. Because I'm gonna have to hop off and place the bed and stuff like that. All the stuff in the water doesn't matter though. Because, you know, it doesn't really have legs. I mean, the snake doesn't either, but I digress. I'm just making myself look like an idiot the more I talk about that. Okay, I can. Good. I'm just gonna put this over here. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. I forgot I don't need to put any of this uh, stuff on my bar or on the, like, toolbar anymore because um it automatically does, like uses it for you i also i brought cave shark over here in case stuff goes bad and we need to swim through the cave some more i am still going to use this one that we tamed and um yeah so that would be i mean i don't want to have to use cave shark but if i have to i have him as an option uh you don't have well, actually, did you, you do have arrows. I'll take those, actually. 
This probably isn't the best spot because if stuff spawns, like, it can attack the storage box and whatnot, but, uh, meh. I am gonna bring the Megalosaurus too, actually, now that I think about it, because, um, yeah, uh, it might be helpful, because, like, if there's a crab. Oh, yeah, and I'm gonna put the grenades up here, because I want to try those out in this cave. Now, there is a part where you, or, okay, there's, like, two routes you can take to get to the artifact. I'll point out one of them. But the one I like to do, which is a little bit easier, is um, you need a Ravager for it in like two places because you need to use zip lines. Actually three, because like, okay, there's way there's a way I like to cheese it as well, which I'll show. Are you mate boosted or something? Okay, you're not taking much damage. Oh wait, I forgot the Barry Onyx just doesn't hit that much. Yeah, I should have upped its melee damage a bit more. I mainly just leveled its health. Because um, I wanted it to have good health. It only has like 10k health anyways. There's a snake somewhere. Well, right now, I'm just going to get you. And get you. There we go. Just to get a little bit more charge on the light pet. You don't need the light pet in here. Because Nameless don't spawn in this cave. I just like having it because it makes it brighter and easier to see. Anyways, this spot right here, you need to pick up your dino to go through. Which, it's so nice cryopods exist now, might I add, because, um, I really don't like that snake. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's so nice that they exist now because you can just do this. Just pick up your dino and throw it out on the other side. Uh, you know, we're fine. There's a snake right there and a seeker over there. No, come back. There we go. Alright, we're fine. I wonder if that was a snake I was hearing. I don't know. Can I snipe the seeker? Alright. This cave is also really pretty, might I add. Oh, you got mad too? Like, this middle area, right as you enter, it's really nice looking. Yeah, I need to turn this off. Or the bear, the light off, if I'm attacking these guys with the Baryon. Because the Baryon just does not hit hard. Which might be to a detriment. You know what? It might be smarter to ride the Megalosaurus until we get to the spot where I need to use the Baryonyx to swim. One, to save health on the Baryonyx, and two, just because the Megalosaurus hits harder. I still didn't heal you, though. I just I forgot to do that. Also, another thing I forgot is it's so nice that when we were on the surface a while ago when I was trying to get surface loot for, uh, like, hazard gear... Um, that we found a good Baryonyx Isle because I put it on the Baryonyx and it's really nice. But anyways, the way I'm going to go, you have to loop around to that side and there's a little like hole you can uh, use the zip line to get up to. But um, the other way is right down there. You, just, you could fall down or you could find your way around. But uh, it's right down there and you have to swim. You have to swim both ways, but that way is more difficult. Oh, I'm really heavy too because I have all this junk on me. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is gonna be. I'm gonna be slow the entire way through the cave. That's fun. It's not that big of a deal though. I'll I'll trade that for being able to save health. Oh. Oh, I thought you just like glitched through the roof of the cave. Well, you kind of did. All right. Oh, but I can't shoot off the back of the Megalosaurus. Eh, it's a trade-off. Whatever. I'll just leave the snake to be, to like just kind of chill up there in the ceiling. Anyway, oh yeah, look at that. I'm already just like full. Maybe, yeah. I should, probably shouldn't have brought as much stuff as I did, but it is what it is. I can't really go back and return it now. I could have left one of the scuba tanks in the storage box at the beginning, which would have been helpful now that I think about it. But yeah. Anyways, we need to go up there. Which there's an Electro Forest in the water that I'm going to have to avoid. But this is one of the parts you need the Ravager for. This is a little spot up there you can zip line into. You could use the little like pants attachment that lets you go up and down zip lines. I'm going to get rid of you because I don't like you. Or you just swim off. Okay. But um, you could use the little pants attachment, but you have to carry around gasoline for that as well. So, I mean, it's a trade-off again. Just pick you up. And I have to use 
this. Okay, so we need to go up there, which it's always annoying judging it because it's sometimes a little difficult. Uh, I mean, that should work. I just don't know about hitting my head, like the Ravager not being able to fit up. Oh yeah, because that's like really close to the ceiling. Yeah. Um, you know what, I could probably, maybe, probably not actually get a better one. This is why I made more, because I wasn't sure if I would have enough. Let's get that one there. And can I, um, actually wait, does this, no, let's just put this one in the water down there. So it's more of a steep incline. I can jump to that one too, which is good. I should be able to fit up. Oh, it hit right there. All right. This is a disaster. Let me figure this out. I didn't realize it hit right there. I might need to go back and make more of these, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Killbod. Well, that was a waste. I give up. I'm making one of these. I don't feel like figuring it out and wasting even more because I have to make even more now that I'm back here. I'm just going to make one of these and bring some gas with me because I don't want to deal with just wasting a ton of zipline anchors again. All right, we finally got up here. Let's not talk about that fiasco that just happened about me not knowing how to use zip lines, apparently. Anyhow. <laughs> wow, that was probably the most difficult part of the cave for me now. I don't know why that was so difficult for me. <laughs> okay. And I'm already encumbered because I'm heavy. My goodness, though. I don't, honestly, I, zip lines did never used to be that difficult for me, but now that's the second incident where I've had to use zip lines, and it's just been a struggle. So I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, there we go. Snake and scorpion. There we go. And the other scorpion and the other snake that I didn't even see, but just died instantly. The other snake. And the other score. You know what? Just come to me. I don't even need to empty my inventory to come over here. Oh, don't run away though. There we go. There we go. Alright. <laughs> huh. And we haven't even gotten to the underwater part yet, which is fun. <laughs> At least you can't use zip lines underwater, so. Well, I mean, you can. It's just there's no point. Ah, more secrets. That one's dead. Oh wait, what? There are Arthur I didn't think there were in this cave. That's annoying. I don't remember like ever seeing them before. But it has been a really long time since I was in here, so I probably just forgot. Like I had, I think I said in the um, Cave of the Depths. I think that's the artifact video, where. Uh, the Aberration Caves are the ones I hadn't been in the longest. Why can't I hit you? Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, just because I, uh, I did, don't... I mean, okay, the caves are cool. They look really cool. I just don't like going through them because every single one of them is a pain. Honestly, the one that's intended to be the hardest, the Cave of the Stalker, is probably the easiest one for me. Um, okay, I see that, which I want to get rid of first. Before I even bother going down there, because I'm just gonna jump down into the water on the baryonyx, and then I'll get out on the side and figure stuff out. I just don't want to deal with a jellyfish, because <laughs> I don't. I'd, I'd like to keep the baryonyx and all my stuff, and not just get stunlocked immediately. Okay, I don't see another jellyfish, so let's just. Oh, I'm gonna miss the water, aren't I? Nope, we're fine. All right. All right, I see that Electrophorus. All the stuff I can, I'm gonna try and pull it over here. But, um, 
and just deal with it, like, with the baryonics. But, uh, yeah. I'm probably not gonna be able to do that for everything. At least there's no... Or at least I don't see a baryonics in the immediate area. And you know what? I should put that on, because I, uh, kind of need to breathe. Oh, that's fun. I see a jellyfish. But it's not in the immediate... Oh, you know what? I need to switch the crossbow. Or that. Fine, you beanie. You beanie. You know what? You can also get stunned. Okay. I need to, I need to switch this out. Yeah, this is, uh, this is basically what this entire underwater section is like. And this is why I cheese part of it, because there's an opening a bit farther in. Oh, I hit a saber tooth salmon. No. No, that's going to make every single one of them mad. And they do it like a, such a mean bleed. It's like actually really bad. Why can't I stun it? I can't even hit the saber tooth salmon. What is happening? Let's get out of the water. Oh, it's fine. I can't hit the saber tooth salmon, I don't know why. Okay. That was annoying. I also don't have stamina, which is fine. Well. Let's get you. You're a 135, my goodness. Uh, of course I can't hit you because I went a bit too far. I just need to eye that, like keep an eye on that jellyfish over there. And to see if any others try to show up. I'm trying to get rid of everything over here, though. That, and this anglerfish over here. You know, if you just want to, like, go and hug the wall, I'm fine with that. Because then you're not trying to bite me. But you know. Oh, hey, where'd you come from? You come to, like, save your friend, and then you run off. Or swim off because you don't have legs. I see. I can stun them. I don't know why I couldn't stun the saber tooth salmon. All right, let's deal with that. If I can actually aim. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this crossbow does more damage than the. <laughs> than the, uh, what you might call it, the fabricated sniper rifle. I shouldn't waste it on the anglerfish, but I kind of just am. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, should, I need to save the crossbow, pretty or the arrows, because the crossbow has enough durability. Like, I don't have any doubt in that. But I need to save the arrows for... The uh, jellyfish, electrophorus, and um, baryonyxes, especially. Okay. Uh, saber tooth salmon scared me. I thought it was an aberrant baryonyx. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's lampreys in here. Oh, I should have brought a campfire. Because I won't be able to pull one off of me if one comes and tries to attack me. I can pull it off the Baryonyx, which, since I'm riding the Baryonyx, it should only attack that. Or, like, attach to that. But, um, you never know with this game. Uh, yeah, you're coming back. I don't know why anglerfish just, like, run away from you. Like, it's a little annoying, but at the same time, it's also kind of nice. Anything over here? No. Alright, I see that jellyfish. Whoa, I didn't even see you. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't a jellyfish, though. Oh, that's, that scared me a lot. Yeah, I see the anglerfish, but I'd rather have the peace of mind of knowing that that is dead first. Let's give you some melee damage. Oh, wow, you haven't really taken any damage. That's actually pretty good. Okay, well. Why does the Baryonyx have an oxygen bar when it's supposed to be able to breathe underwater? 
Alright, there's another angler fish coming to me. Uh, well, while it's running, I'm gonna try and get that jellyfish. If I can aim. There we go. Oh, that's not good. There we go. I didn't want it to aggro onto me and then come over here while I was fighting anglerfish. But we're fine. What's that? Oh, that's a Dimetrodon. I saw something poking out of the ground. I didn't know if it was a Baryonyx. I was about to come and just eat my face. Thankfully, it's not. Right, let's drop all this stuff. Let's reload this, too, because I kind of need... Need the security of it. <laughs> uh, we're almost to the spot that you can like kind of just cheese. Oh, there's a frog there. Okay. If I ignore the frog, the frog won't hurt me. Which I appreciate. Now, this is the more open area. Alright, there's anglerfish. Okay. I can deal with anglerfish. I just don't want to encounter a baryonyx. Pretty much. Especially when the anglerfish just kind of sit up and kiss the wall like this. Like, that's fine. Makes my life easier. Come on. You must be high level. Or I just don't hit very hard at all, which is also the case. Oh, you're only 95. Yeah, I just don't hit hard. Um, but I don't see anything else dangerous, but I don't really want to swim any farther that way and find out. <laughs> so what I like to do here is pick up the dino. So in this case, this is Baryonyx. And then you can shoot a, uh, a zip line from here over to like that ledge right there, which let's do that. I can't see the little green line. Okay, uh, let's, that works. And you know what, since we have the pants, I don't really need to worry about the Ravager thing. Ravager situation, oh, we just landed on this. Um, well, you know what? Let's just go back the other way. And I'll just reattach myself to it. Oh, <laughs> we're having the issue again. It's probably I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm just so bad at um. No, oh, this could be bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just oh yeah. You don't see me. You don't see me. Hi. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just like bad at zip lines. I need to get up there. Can I jump up this? No. Am I really going to need to waste the zip line just to get there? Wow. Fine. Well, I mean, I have a bunch still. I just don't really want to waste it. But if I have to, I will. I just, at this point in the cave. Whoa, that was interesting. I <laughs> don't press space, just press E. Uh, but at this point in the cave. I don't really want to have to run back. Are you kidding me? Yes! <laughs> I did it. Okay, well. Oh, don't launch me over. Okay. Um, but yeah, at this point in the cave, I don't want to run back and have to deal with just making more like I did before. Because what happened before was a disaster that we don't talk about. But anyway, the artifact is right there. And I'm surprised I haven't encountered any, like, Karkonos. Because I thought there were usually a bunch of Karkonos in here. Usually there was, like, three down there. It's a seeker in the water. That's nice. Um, but anyways, I'm going to shoot a grappling... Not grappling. It's a... The thing. Zipline. Over there. Let's just put it... Let's put it in the back. 
That works. Alright. And we can just go across. You know, it's pretty nice having this, I'm gonna be honest. Usually I just use the Ravager, but... The, the belt thing is pretty nice. I will give it credit for that. Now, am I gonna have to deal with anything? Because usually, I uh, see there's a Seeker over there. There's two Seekers over there, but I don't want to deal with them. But yeah, this is the artifact right here. There's Sarko down there, and Jellyfish. But yeah, I uh, just get a screenshot, because you know, you know the drill. There we go. <laughs> and get the artifact. And you know what, now, we have every single artifact in the game aside well actually no we do have the artifact of the lost because we got that on crystal isles even though because that's an aberration artifact but you can't get it on aberration you know what i don't need oh this is gonna break though isn't it yeah, it probably will it's fine though right i just i don't feel like using the the grappling or the zipline thing Grappling hooks are the things you, that you also use on the crossbow, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> that pull you in. The same thing, right? Um, but yeah, I did, didn't want to use it. Anyways, now it should be a pretty easy shot back. We just need to, when we get back to the other room, that we drop down from above into the water with the Baryonyx. That was a really freaky looking salmon for a second. I didn't know what it was. Like, from straight on. Um, but we just need to use a zip line to get up to the top again. Because I don't have any climbing picks with me. So, let's pick up Baryonyx again. And this shouldn't be that bad because it's a pretty wide open, open thing. I will maybe possibly need to use um, a couple. But we should be fine, right? Like, that should work right where that is. And I could be able just to ride this one up. Yep, that worked. And just jump off. Perfect. Alright, you know, honestly, I'm going to ride the Baryonyx because it has a little bit more weight than the Mangalosaurus and it's faster on the way out. So, that should work. But, like... It's just easy on the way out, and let's um, let's ignore the disaster that took place right here. Oh, I can't fit down there with the Baryonyx. Okay, but yeah, let's just not focus on that. Me forgetting how uh, how zip lines work. Oh, I don't have the thing on. Okay, <laughs> I was pressing space to activate the glider wings, but I still have the scuba tank on. <laughs> Oops. Well, uh, anyways, we're like basically done. I mean, basically back out. What I will do now, though, I do think, because I don't have the Artifact of the Lost anymore, because we used it um, for the Crystal Wyvern Queen fight. I don't remember which one. I can go get it on Aberrate, or not on, um, I can go get it on Crystal Isles. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I can just go, like, check the video I made a while ago. Um, but then, you know what, like, even if I don't go get the Artifact of the Lost, though, I do want to go, since now we have all three of the main Aberration Artifacts, we can go put the pedestals down, um, in the little museum on the island, and then we can just have that basically done. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do with that, is if it's symmetrical with just the three Aberration Artifacts, I'm not gonna bother getting the Artifact of the Lost. But if it's not symmetrical... Then I will go get the artifact of the lost to make it symmetrical. That's my plan, I guess. Anyhow, though, this is like the entrance right here, so. I'm just gonna swim out and bring all the artifacts over the island, and I will see you over there when I can make up some uh, of the little artifact pedestals. I also actually just now saw your um, name Fortnite. I like the name Fishgills for this Baryonyx, so yeah. Fish. Sorry I didn't have a name before I went in the cave, but I just now now saw that. But yeah, it works, so there we go. Now we have Cave Shark and Fish Gills over here. Anyways, I will now see you over on the island. Red drop. 
It's probably gonna be like a blueprint for something, but that's like or a blueprint for like some building material. But that's fine, right? Still, I'm still just curious. What are you? Oh, that's actually not that bad. The uh, the pants. I'll take the ghillie pants, like the blueprint for that. That's pretty good. And please don't thylacolio me while I'm flying back to base. I just went and got some obsidian so we can make up three more artifact pedestals. You know, I kind of like that. It's interesting because they're next to the Scorched Earth artifacts, which are like kind of a reddy, red and orange and yellow. And these are all kind of purple, blue, green. Kind of the colors of the arc, which I find interesting. And there's the extinction ones, which are just kind of kind of there. <laughs> I mean, they look cool. I really like their uh, particle effects, but they're just, they don't match the colors of the arc. The other thing, too, is the Scorched Earth ones sit so much higher up than all these other ones, but eh. But yeah, there they are. The one we got today, the depths, and or the st shadows, the one we got today, the depths here, and then the, sh the stalker there. Alright. And yeah, it is symmetrical with that, because there's Two walls over there and two walls over there. So yeah. Oops. Yeah, I'd I could turn the shadows up, but then lag a lot more. So it's just kind of when it's nighttime, it looks a lot better. But uh, yeah, we have all of the artifacts that are obtainable on the story maps. I mean, all the artifacts bar the artifact of the lost, but that's only on the on Crystal Isles. But yeah, there we go. The collection is pretty much complete of these. Unless I want to get the last in here, but yeah, I don't know. It's not that important. But anyways, I do think that's probably going to be it for this episode. I'm glad. I'm so happy we finally finished the artifact collection. Woohoo! We started that. I think the very first artifact we got was the artifact of the hunter, which is right over my right shoulder so on the left of the screen actually that was the very first one we got i think that was in like episode 10 or something like that so wow finally have all the artifacts um yeah i don't know it's just i don't know how to feel because there's no more caves left um now i need to start focusing on one of the bosses again that's fun i'm not sure which one yet but anyways i'll think about that and i'll probably start working on that in the next one so yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one